Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. So, for this one, the entire thing didn't fit. But I mean, based on the tears, you probably already know the order for this. Anyway, today on my channel, we're going to be ranking emoticons. It's always weird to me that they're called that, but they're the vastly superior thing to emojis. And plus, I looked at some emojis, and there's a lot of cursed ones, and even the cursed ones are, like, too cursed for me, so. We're gonna go with these little wholesome guys, mostly wholesome. Alright, starting in S tier, we got this little smiley one that's, like, typically known as a cat face, really. The only thing I don't like it is that since they use a three for the mouth, if you look at it, it makes it look like its mouth is a butt, or like a tentacle thing, like a doo or something. So that's why when I draw it, I do like a very small little three, with like the thing in the middle being very small and short. This looks more like a little cat mouth. But, uh, it's cute. Cat mouths in general, those kind of faces are cute, so... It's us too. And then the one next to it isn't actually one that was on the template. I know it's very specific, and you're probably like, oh, what's the difference between that one and the normal smiley face without the nose? Well, this one, to me, it just seems friendlier with the nose and, like, the distance between the eyes and the mouth. Because when it's just the mouth, it almost looks kind of creepy. But if you add, like, the nose gives it character and makes it look friendly. And, like, the mouth's a little smaller, too. He just looks like a little friendly guy, really, rather than possibly wanting to murder me. And I started using that one a lot, and I mostly just added it on there, um, because I have a friend that would always use that, and now we use it a lot with each other. It's sort of like our thing. And now I even, like, when I'm not talking to that friend, and I'm on, like, Discord somewhere else, I'll still use it and stuff. Now it's part of my regular little emoticon library, I guess. So, because of that friend, and because I use it a ton, but mostly because of that friend, um, it's us tier, so there you go. I'd recommend that one being one you use. Just, even for other types of little emo emojis, emoticons, um, give it a little nose or a little something every once in a while. Change it up, have fun. Then we got A tier, and we got this one with the big mouth. I always like these ones, which is where it's just a mouth, because I can imagine them going like... <gasps> but with the bigger mouth, it just looks really funny. Like, with the small mouth, he's just like, whoa, he's, like, slightly surprised. But then with the bigger mouth, he's like, what? Like, it's some kind of life-changing news, really. Like, I've never used ones with these really big mouths or anything. I like the smaller ones, but it's neat. Then we get the smiley one, where you use the D for the smile. It's a classic. I like this one. I also like adding the nose to it. Um, it's just like a standard happy one, really. I prefer it to the smiley face. And then we're on the smiley face, which looks creepy. It's like, if they shortened the smile, or moved the distance between the eyes and the mouth just a little bit, it would look better. But it feels almost passive aggressive to me, and I don't like that, so I don't really use it. Or I add a nose to it, so the vastly superior version. And we already talked about the next one. Then we got Uru, which, with the eyes, or with the O's, anyway, it just looks better than the U one. With the U's, it looks really cursed. With the O's, it actually looks like a face to me. Like, F and eyes, even if they're all next to each other. Like, drawing it would probably look creepy, but as an emoticon, it looks really cute. It's like, genuinely looks like a little face. It's nice. We got B tier, we got this one with the tongue sticking out, and this is really, like, the end of the line for me of, like, ones that I actually like. I mean, the rest of the bottom ones I sometimes use, but I don't like them for one reason or another. Really, so. But with the tongue, sticking out, it doesn't look, like, weird. It looks like you're kind of spacing out, or, like, those kids' movies where the characters will, like, stick out their tongue and tap out their pencil or something, you know? It's always kind of goofy-looking to me. 
Like, I've looked at regular emojis, and, like, the tongue out ones always look, like, slightly kinky or weird, but, like, this one, it generally gives out the vibes of what it's supposed to, so that's good. Then we got the little crying face, which I see some of my friends use sometimes. I just wish there was a way to make the little tears, like, near the eyes, but I get it, you're typing all this stuff out, so... It kind of just makes me think of Kirby a little bit, also because sometimes people will make Kirby out of these, so there you go. Then we got this one, the little frowny face. It's kind of cute, I guess. It kind of looks like a really big nose to me, more than a mouth. Or it reminds me of like little cat mouths, how they go down, and like the two little lines at some point. I feel like if you gave it little ears, maybe through like the little, not the parentheses, but the kind of pointy ones. I forgot what they're called. Then you could make it like a little cat or something. I don't know if that would work though. Then we got frowny face. It just looks so sad to me. It's like the crying one with the tears looks like he's destroyed. But this frowny one looks like you're also genuinely upset. Like more upset than you probably actually are. Because it's like, if the smiley face is passive aggressive, the frowny one is, um, I don't know, whatever the opposite of that is. And then we got this one with the, like, sideways mouth. I mean, I've used it occasionally when I just don't know how to respond. I don't know what emotion this is really supposed to be. It looks like you're going, eh, or something, but I always hate seeing that when someone uses it. Usually probably because of the context it's being used, but, you know. And we got this one with the very big eyes, which is usually used in, like, a what-the-fuck moment or something. I don't like it. It's creepy. Okay, because I know you're probably like, okay, Bumble, it also used the same zeros or O's as the ooh mouth. Why do you like that one better? Well, I mean, like, with that one, even if you use, if you move the W down, it would still probably look cute, but with the, the line, it's like it's emotionless. Not emotional, emotionless. But also, like, you've seen some shit. I just, I don't like its vibes. I, I get what it's used for, but, uh. But I like it better than the other two versions of it below, so. Then we got F tier. I don't know what this one's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be, like, a slight nose? Is it, like, your mouth sat a little bit? I don't know what emotion this is. Same with the one next to it. That one looks even weirder. You look like you're a little bird or something. And then you got this other one with the U, and it's probably supposed to be an open mouth, but it also looks cursed. If you look at it, like, head on, like, looking at where the eyes and the mouth are, it just looks like a diary of a Wimby, char Wimby Kid character to me. Like, Manny or something, but if he didn't draw his nose or something. And I don't really like the Wimby Kid design, so there you go. And you have this other one where it's, like, the line, but it's not sideways. I'd be okay with it, but the line looks, like, a little too long. Like, it goes too far to the right, where it just feels weird. Then you have this other frowny face. I feel like it's supposed to be, like, a cutesy frowny face, but it just reminds me of a little frog, but in a bad way. It just looks weird. Then you have the winky face, which... I don't like whatever context the winky face is used for. And just the way the winky, the winky part is, it looks like you have a little eyelash or something sticking out or makeup or, I don't know, it doesn't feel like, oh, mischievous, we're poking fun at something. It just feels weird. I don't like it. Then you got this S one. Normally I like these kind of frowny faces, like I've drawn them before where they're almost like the person is frazzled. So you think I'd like this one, but I don't know, the mouth looks too big and too wavy. I get that it's made out of an S and it's probably the closest we can get, but it just doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look frazzled, it looks, I don't know. Then you got the two big T's making the angry-ish face. It kind of feels like an anime one a little bit. Of like you're kind of annoyed than anything feels less like an emoticon and more like i'm drawing a little angry anime character but i didn't finish like props to looking the most like a face so far but eh. 
Then we got the other frowny one. And then these ones are made out of, like, the straight fantasy lines. I don't know. I want to really like the smiley face for it. The little lines almost look like dimples, but there's something off about it, so it goes in F tier. Then we got the other smiley face, which the smile goes too far wide and the line's so thick that I don't like it. Then we got the already other cursed Ulu, which is actually made out of the U's. I get that it's probably supposed to be like closed eyes and I can imagine you're almost nodding, but I don't like it. It feels weird. Then we got the XD, which I know is popular, or at least back then it was. I hate it. I've always hated it. It looks stupid to me and dumb. I mean, now when I see XD in caps, I always think of the Pokemon spin-off game, which I highly recommend, so that's how my brain reads XD. But even if I tilt my head slightly, I still see the face. It just, it looks dumb. Don't use it, guys. Got the small frowny one, or small smiley one, I'm sorry. It's eh, but again, the curvature of the lion just throws me off. Got a little baby bird mouth again. I get that it's supposed to be a smiley face, but it just doesn't look like it, unless it's like a smiley face a robot is making. And then we got these other two eyes. I really don't like the one that's at the end of this, where they're like different sized eyes. It's just weird. And that's it, really. Another kind of tier list nobody probably asked for, but there you go. But anyway, the best one is the cat mouth if the three didn't look like that, and the smiley face with the nose. So, lesson of the day, um, add noses to your emoticons. It's fun. Alright, bye.